Good morning everyone. This is Pavani. Hope everyone is fine. After a long gap again today I have come to teach for 8th standard. Uh, 7th lesson that is bonsai life. Okay. So what do you mean by bonsai? Actually it is a, a plant name in Japan. Okay. So now let us see about this lesson. Okay. Now. So we have bonsai life two parts part one and part two today I would like to explain part one and the next class I would like to explain part two. The moment I see letters waiting for me on the doorstep when I return from home from work I can't contain my excitement. It's almost as if I'm face to face with my near and dear ones. So now see here the moment I see letters here I refers to the a uh, person who uh, who is telling this story to us okay so just you'll get to know after a few minutes who is i here okay so now the moment i see letters waiting for me on the doorstep when i return from work so this story is about the two sisters uh, the two sisters they are the own siblings and like one sister the younger one is staying in city and the elder one is staying in the village okay this is about their life Okay, this story is about their life, how they are leading, and what uh, kind of lifestyle they are leading. So now here, I refers to the sister who is staying in city. Okay, I refers to the sister who is staying in city. So the moment I see letters waiting for me on the doorstep when I return from work, that means what we can understand here, this lady is an employee. Okay, and she is a working lady. Okay, working woman. Then as she returned from her office. Then she can see near the doorstep, she can find the letters, okay. So, the moment I see letters waiting for me on the doorstep, when I return from work, I can't contain my excitement. I can't contain my excitement means what? By seeing the letter, she used to feel a lot of, like what, uh, too happy, okay. She can't express that happiness in her words, okay. That much happy she was. Why she was so happy? Because as because of her busy schedule she is unable to meet anyone okay and she is not getting the time to go and meet her relatives also as when she see the letters she feels a lot of happy and immediately try to open the letters and read what it was okay now see here it's almost as if i am face to face with my near and dear ones see for example uh, like uh, if at all if you see in the movies a person who has written a letter and went away then the person who is reading the letter okay they see their face we can see that their face uh, as if they are only telling directly face to face they are talking with them like that they will show in the movies right have you seen any time so now here also she used to feel as if she is talking face to face with them okay when she was reading the letter and they are speaking affectionately to me through that letter they are speaking affectionately affectionately means with what with lot of love and caring okay with lot of love and caring they are speaking uh, with her okay instantly the exhaustion of office work vanishes and my heart grows light so what is the meaning of exhaustion here tired extreme tired okay the meaning of exhaustion is what you, what ma extreme tired okay so now see here then now what happened here actually she was every day her schedule is what every day from office she used to come to her home and after that she used to relax for some time and then she used to continue with her household works but the moment uh, when she get the letters she never goes to kitchen immediately she will sit and she will read the letter after that she'll feel a lot of happy uh, like what lot of happiness in her on her face and then she with that happiness she tries to do something okay different so like what we will see now so as she reads the letter whatever the tiredness okay every day she feel very tired as she reaches her home but the day when she gets the letter no on that day all her tired will vanish vanish nothing but what disappear what is the meaning of vanish here disappear everything will disappear okay she feels very happy and my heart grows light because of her happiness her heart grows light instead of entering the kitchen muttering oh no oh god which is what i usually do when i come back tired i feel like singing a song humming a tune making a nice cup of coffee and savoring each sip see every day regularly what she used to do uh, as she come home no she used to go to the kitchen oh my god what is this all nonsense my husband has kept and she used to uh, abuse some words 
to him and after that she used to scold and then she used to do some uh, a cup of coffee and she used to have after that only she used to do the remaining work but the day when she receives the letter on that day complete different so that day what she will do after reading the letter with lot of happiness she goes to the kitchen and she prepares a nice cup of coffee by humming means by singing a song okay with that happiness many songs used to come from her mouth and she used to sing and she used to make a cup of coffee and savoring each sip and enjoying each sip then what is more the sight of inland letters or envelopes in a familiar hand gives me the energy and enthusiasm to quickly make and eat some pakoras or bhajis not only a coffee or tea but with that happiness okay with that lot of happiness what she made she made some bhajis and pakoras also okay even though i am lazy about writing letters i love to receive one from some place or the other every day but actually this lady she is not having the habit of writing letters but she likes to receive the letters from some or the other every day but she don't have the habit of writing the letters in reply okay then this is an unexpected letter so now what happened this is the regular work of her when she gets the letter she feels very happy with that happiness she make pakoras bhajis and she will she used to enjoy but suddenly when she came one day from her office she returned at that time she has seen the letter and that was an unexpected letter okay so if my akaya who doesn't normally write went out of her way to write a letter there has to be a reason as i open the letter i am little apprehensive apprehensive means what worried what is the meaning of apprehensive worried i hope it is not some bad news actually when things are fine no one bothers to write so now what happened as she noticed one letter immediately she picked and see and she has seen from where she got then she noticed that it was the letter from her sister actually her sister akaya she never writes a letter but out of that she has written means maybe something has happened nothing should happen like that she was getting tensed okay and she was worried a lot before opening the letter i should not read anything bad news through this letter like that she was thinking and she was opening that letter and if everything is fine no one bothers to write but if whether anything is happened or what like that she was thinking and at last she opened the letter and what was the letter ammalu so now the the girl who is reading the lady who is reading the letter her name is ammalu okay her akaya has written okay so ammalu you must be very surprised to receive my letter you would be even more surprised if i were to tell you that your bavagaru and i are coming to your place we have been planning for quite a while to visit kasi and haridwar we have now found the time i hope you won't find our visit inconvenient now what happened akaya has written a letter to her sister ammalu okay so what she has written actually i never write a letter to you by seeing my letter you have been surprised i think so if i were to tell you that even more you will surprise what is that i and your bavagaru are planning to visit to your place so actually they were planning to visit to which place kasi and haridwar on the way while going to kasi and haridwar they want to visit whose house whose house ammalu's house her sister's house so if at all if we come to your house hope you may not feel inconvenient before that only i'm writing this letter all of a sudden if at all if we come you may you both of you are employees and you may feel uncomfortable right so because of that i'm writing this letter she said then my dear it seems akaya and bavagaru are coming over i said to my husband excitedly so after reading that letter she felt very happy why because since the marriage they never come to their house okay so now she passed this information to her husband so my dear my sister akaya and bavagaru are coming over i said to my husband excitedly means with a lot of happiness and curiosity okay is that true when where is it now husband immediately after hearing that is that true what you are saying and when when they are coming and where is that letter show me give me the letter he said and pull the letter from my hand so you give me the letter he said and pulled a letter from her hand i went into the kitchen to get the coffee and other things ready then she went into the kitchen to get a cup of coffee to her husband okay then now akaya and bavagaru were coming to this city and our home for the first time since my marriage so now you have understood no since their marriage they did not visit even once this is the first time they are coming 
I had looked forward to their visit all these years. So who is saying? Amalu is saying to her husband that all these years I have been waiting for my sister. They had never left their little house to go anywhere. Actually, they used to live in the village. They never used to leave that village to go to other places. Using children, cattle, cooking, etc. as excuses. So, whenever I asked my sister to come to our place, she used to say, if I come, who will look after the children? If I come, who will look after the cattle? If I come, who will look after your brother-in-law? Like that, she used to say many things like that. All these excuses she used to say. But now first time they are coming out. Okay. They had always avoided moving out. Under such circumstances. Okay. Under such circumstances means under such situations. Imagine they are coming to our house and to this big city. Okay. Now Akaya is not as educated as me. So now what she is telling to her husband. She is not educated as me. Uh, by not as educated, I mean Nanagaru did not let her study after class 5. So, her father, he did not, okay, he did not give proper education to her sister, okay. Like after 5th class, he said no need, no need, a girl, a girl should not be educated much. Whose intention was that? Her father's intention. Of what use was education for a girl? His father used to think, why we have to give education to a girl? Anyhow, after marriage, they will be at home only. They will not be in our house. Then why to give a good education to a girl? It was his uh, her father's intention. So those were the days when people thought it was enough if a girl was able to keep the washerman's accounts. In those days, if at all, if they know, for the dobi person, if at all, if the washerman comes, uh, we can count the clothes how many we have given. Okay, that much knowledge a girl should have. That was the intention of her father. Then, a decade. Decade means what? 10 years. 10 years later, when I was born, that means how much difference between both of them? 10 years. So, when I was born, there wasn't much debate as to whether a girl should have education or not. So, as the years passed, even father's attitude was changed. So, when her sister was studying Akaya, at that time, he was not at all interested to give a good education to a girl child. But when she was born after 10 years, father's attitude also was changed. Then, what happened? I was lucky that my father changed with the times. He didn't even hesitate to send me to college. Hesitate means he did not feel shy or hesitate to send me to college. Even after my 10th standard also, my father has put me in the college. No girl who is well educated can be satisfied with staying at home, being a housewife and looking after the household after marriage. So what she is trying to tell here, Amalu? So a girl who is educated, no one likes to be in the house. If at all, if she is having proper education, she also want to help her better half. Nothing but her husband, okay, to support her husband, she also want to work. Then now, she, uh, she would want to put her education to good use and achieve something in life. So, Ammalu wants to put her education to a good use and achieve something in her life. So, she started working. I too was driven by the same desire, even though my husband had a good job. I took up one as well. So, first she said that what is the intention of a girl who is having good education? They don't like to sit at home. So, even she also don't want to sit at home as she got the good qualification. She wants to support her husband. So, she also, even though he is having a good job, she also has taken up one. Okay. Then, because Akaya was not educated, but whereas Akaya, she studied up to 5th standard. Will she get a job? No. So, because Akaya was not educated, she was married to a man from the village. Okay, as she was not educated, she was married to a man from the village. Though my Bhavagaru was educated, but whereas Bhavagaru was educated, his ideals made him choose agriculture as his profession. So, actually he was educated, well educated man. But his ideals made him to choose what as they belong to village. So total village background, everyone thinks about agriculture only. Okay. So now uh, his, he made his profession as agriculture. And he settled down in the village to cultivate his land. He don't want to work under someone. Whereas he is having a lot land. So he want to cultivate his land. Then Akaya grew accustomed to the village life. Accustomed means habituated. Okay. What is the meaning of accustomed here? Habituated. Okay. So, she was accustomed to live 
uh, to adjust to the village life. Then Akaya brought so many things. So, okay, when they were coming to the city, to actually they were going to Kasi and Haridwar. On the way, they planned to visit her sister Amalu's house. Okay, so while they are coming to their house, what she has brought to them? Akaya brought so many things like cucumber, gongura, drumsticks, appadams, guadiams and coconuts. So, what are the things? Cucumber, gongura, drumsticks, appadams, wadiams and coconuts. I hope you don't mind. I have brought you all these things like kuchela. So now what Akaya is saying, I hope you don't mind. Why? Because all these are from our backyard, from our place. Okay. So because of that, these I have brought. Then why did she use kuchela? Like you know about Krishna's story. So Krishna's friend, okay, he will take all the like what, what he likes used to take to him. So in the same manner, I brought don't think in that manner like that, she said. Then I don't know whether you like them or not, she said rather hesitantly, okay, rather feeling shy. She said, please, I hope you don't mind what the things I brought, Akaya said to Amalu. Then why do you say that you have actually brought all the things we wanted? Why? Why Akaya, why you are saying like that? Whatever the things we need, actually you brought all those things. We don't get these things here. If your Mardi has Gongura Pulsu, Mardi means who? Amalu's husband. Okay, for Akaya, he becomes what? Mardi. Then, if your Mardi has Gongura Pulsu, Kukumbar Papu and Drumstick Charu, he feels as elated as if he had a sumptuous feast. Okay, so elated means what here? What is the meaning of elated? Elated means very happy or excited. Some to us feast means what? As if it is a grand feast, something as if he is eating non-veg. He feels like that if at all, if he has all these things. Okay, like that she said to her. With my office work, I am unable to make appadams and vadiams. As I am busy uh, with my office work, I am unable to make appadams and vadiams. Even if I have some free time, I am too lazy to do.